Part 2. Managing Cushing's disease and acromegaly. Awareness of pituitary tumours is low and access to medical experts and advocates who specialise in this area is limited. To help educate and generate awareness, an international panel of multidisciplinary experts recently convened to discuss key needs for managing pituitary tumours, focusing on Cushing's disease and acromegaly as they're challenging and may be difficult to treat. Let's look at the management of the disease. Once diagnosed, there's an urgent need to manage pituitary tumours, as they can be associated with debilitating clinical manifestations if they're left untreated or are uncontrolled. These include changes in physical appearance and serious health complications, such as cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, metabolic complications, and mood disorders. Management of clinical manifestations can help ease the journey, which is often long and arduous. I'd like to turn first to you, um, Dr. Monica Gadella, to ask why is it so important that these diseases are managed very carefully? It's very important that as soon as the diagnosis is made that these patients receive treatment. So for Cushing's disease, the primary treatment is neurosurgery. For acromegaly, it will depend, but it's important to treat the patient as soon as possible because those patients are subject to different complications. How does it affect a patient psychologically if everything is under control? As soon as they have the diagnosis and are submitted to treatments, they see a light at the horizon. It's kind of the, it's, it's a new step in the process on a psychosocial aspect about how am I going to incorporate this new information into my life. Biochemical markers, sometimes referred to as biomarkers, are molecules found in certain parts of the body, which can be measured to determine normal or abnormal biological function and help identify the presence of a disease or condition. Monitoring biomarkers is an important part of managing pituitary tumours. Achieving biochemical control may help improve quality of life for patients. What do you feel is the role of um, constant checking the biochemical markers in the management of pituitary tumours? The one reason is to find the optimal dose of the medication if required. And surgery is very good, but still a lot of the patients require medication after surgery. The point for the patient, I think, is that surgery induces a relief of many of the symptoms and sometimes it's very difficult for the physician to explain why constant treatment is still necessary. And that's the point for the biochemical tests because the biochemical tests can pick smaller changes in the control of the disease long before the symptoms get worse again the normalization of their biochemical markers of their hormones. That is a short-term goal that can be achieved. Are the current tests adequate? They are adequate, but they have to, use, to be used appropriately, and especially the interpretation has to be made appropriately. And we have still a lack of standardization of different laboratory tests. So the best way is to always use the same laboratory which always uses the same test method. And do you think physicians are knowledgeable enough to know this? I'm sure that's a field where we also have to increase awareness because we tend to believe in numbers. Patients should be empowered to work with their team of healthcare providers to proactively manage and monitor their tumours and they're encouraged to be an active participant in the treatment of their disease. So do you feel then that the, the patient really has to have a, a great part in the management of their pituitary tumour? Definitely. You understand that once you get treatment that it's not over, it's, not, it's the recovery process and the constant um, diligence on monitoring your symptoms, um, making sure that you're going to the right doctors, making sure that you're getting the, um, the correct tests that you need to monitor your disease. This is something that you have a lot with, definitely, with your patients. I encourage all patients to take charge of their, once they're diagnosed, 
I really would like them to try to take charge of their condition. I encourage them to definitely keep track of their symptoms. To ensure that people's disease is managed properly, they need to, to have this prompt management of their pituitary tumours. They need to be involved in treatment with a multidisciplinary team such as yourselves. Um, and they need to be empowered to work with their own healthcare teams.